this is Dom News 7. We're looking here at PowerOutage.us. It is keeping track of all the outages across America, coast to coast, and even Hawaii and Alaska. And you can see here on the eastern part of the United States, the area that was hit by this latest round of storms. It is lit up here in color, showing that there are many outages totaling upwards of 800,000 customers being without power. So that, that is customers, multiple people in many of those homes, businesses, meaning this could be millions of people affected by this right now. You can see here Maryland, Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, all heavily affected in this round. Now we also have outages on the West Coast, but this year in particular, this latest round of winter storms pounding the area with massive snow totals. You can see right here, close to a foot there in Swiss North Carolina. I've seen images on social media of people sharing their backyards, their front yards, just completely covered. No traffic on the roads. You can see some of these uh, heavier bands in this region right here. And in terms of the cancellations, they are in mass. Okay. 2,330 flights canceled in the United States. And since Christmas, this has been a nightmare in many different areas in terms of the cancellations that have been ongoing just across the board here. All these different airports. You can see further misery map right here. Just where some of the biggest issues are. NYC, DC, among the top there. I'm going to leave a link. I'll update with more as I get it. Join me for the live stream. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Dangerous winter storm barreling up the east coast, adding to the travel chaos. Snow in the deep south, knocking a uh, big truck here right off Trenton, Georgia, the road there. Vehicles piling up with heavy, wet snow on I-95. This is Stafford, Virginia. In fact, 500 accidents in Virginia alone. Washington, D.C. today brought to a standstill. President Biden, Air Force One right here, returning from Delaware in the blinding snow. More than a quarter million customers in six states without power tonight, with temperatures now plunging right behind all this. Here's ABC's Gio Benitez. Tonight, that monster winter storm slamming the East Coast just as the Omicron variant causes a slew of airline staffing issues, creating the perfect storm for a travel nightmare in the air and on the roads. In Virginia alone, more than 500 crashes. Heavy, wet snow falling throughout the Washington, D.C. metro area. Visibility is is extremely bad and the road is absolutely snow covered across the country more than 3,000 flights canceled today even air force one was expanded workers struggling to free one of the stairways to get passengers off the plane president biden on board returning to joint base andrews in the middle of the storm at reagan national airport outside dc cancellations piling up our kenneth boatman is there it's been a day of de icing planes and snow piles on the runways more than 300 cancellations here at Reagan Airport, the most in the country. Aisha and Demir Crawford trying to get to South Carolina. I'm tired. I'm drained. I'm ready to go home. More than 8,000 flights canceled in the U.S. since New Year's Day. We just need to get home, so we, uh, we got in the car, and rental car, and started driving. Ian and Alexa Harrison visiting New Orleans for the holiday, driving more than 1,000 miles back to their Michigan home after their flight was canceled Saturday. And David, with the Omicron variant raging and flight crews testing positive, the airlines are warning this issue may not be resolved anytime soon. David, yeah, a real challenge and really tough time with so many people traveling. Geo, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC. Massive storm stretching from the deep south, Florida and Alabama to the nation's capital in the bullseye today. Hit with up to a foot of snow. Air Force One returning to Joint Base Andrews in virtual whiteout conditions. The president emerging from the plane in a blinding snowstorm. In the I-95 corridor, thousands of cars stranded and stuck. 
accidents and power outages. Amtrak also affected. At the center of the bullseye, Reagan National Airport. Topping the list of most affected airports today, 84% of departures canceled. And then here's 7 o'clock. I've been delayed six times and then canceled. Today's storm, the latest blow to airlines and hundreds of thousands of holiday passengers. Since Christmas Eve, more than 18,000 flights canceled. Hit hard by airline and TSA staffers calling out sick with COVID. Then a series of winter storms. Today alone, 3,000 flights canceled. Here at Reagan Airport, the snow coming down so heavily they had to close the main runway for plowing at 8 a.m. Thousands of passengers stuck. I'm trying to fly back home. I've been out since 3 in the morning. And my flight got changed twice. The cancellations rippling across the country from Chicago O'Hare to Fort Lauderdale where Andrea Lynn and her kids have been trying to get to Detroit since Friday. We had to stay an extra couple days and hotels are outrageous on New Year's Eve. So we were kind of trapped. While it truly has been a perfect series of storms for the airlines, consumer advocates say the airlines also bear some blame. The airline industry has been understaffed for months, even before this latest surge with COVID going back to the summer. So Tom, how are things looking for tomorrow air travel-wise? So far, 400 flights canceled for tomorrow. That will likely grow through the night and through tomorrow, but hopefully that tomorrow gives them the opportunity to recover and start to get people on their way, Lester. Thanks for watching our YouTube. Safe pilots turn radios off. Safety's on.